Hey guys, what is up? The Neo Cubist here. Welcome to my modern snow house. Now, this is an interesting take on a modern house. No, it's not the fanciest modern house, but look, it's made of snow. How many snow modern houses have you seen? It's got a pretty cool upstairs, right? It's got a bedroom, it's got some chest storage and stuff. Not too fancy, but it's also got this farm out here, which makes it very survival friendly. Now, if we go down in here, we have a nice little cellar with a little brewing area, as you know me. We got a cauldron and everything, full enchantment table and some more storage, but yeah. If you guys want to see how to build this block by block, step by step, stick around and watch the video. Alright, so starting off with the snow house, I know it's going to be a little bit tricky to see the materials, but you're going to need a block of snow, you're going to need cobblestone, cobblestone stairs, spruce, all the fancy stuff, all the spruce wood in this snow biome. We're going to start off by making one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks of snow in a row like this. We're going to go up five blocks, so two, three, four, and five. Let me turn the render distance down just a little bit. And you want to just build these all up to be a total of five high. And then we're going to bring them over where the actual cobblestone structure is going to be. The total length on top is going to be 11. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it looks like we're a little small here for room. But basically I started at 2 because I'm counting this block right here as also being 1. So I don't, I don't know why I put that there. But we're, all we're going to do is just make this entire snow into this shape right here. And I'll give you the dimensions again in a second because I think it might have been a little bit confusing. It should be 7 in length like this. A total of 5 high. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like this. And then goes over 11 blocks this way. And then this is going to sort of be the modern roof styling for your house. Of course, it's not some huge modern house. It's actually fairly small. But let me fix some things here. Let me terraform this land a little bit so it's gonna fit nice okay there we go you'll never even know that it was terraformed except uh, maybe a few blocks here and there but anyways we're gonna get started with the rest of it so let's take these cobblestone blocks and we're going to build them one two three four five and six and then just to confirm one two three four five and six just like that and then you're going to obviously build the roof now you can use slabs here a uh, little tricky do you can use a uh, talk shouldn't say that I've been watching too much of the office uh, so what you can do right here is you could fill this area in with slabs gonna make your roof look a little bit bigger but one two three four five and six and then on that sixth block which is right here you're going to bring it down and you're gonna make an area for a nice little window you may have to actually use the solid blocks there so we're just gonna bring it all the way down just like this and then you should have an area for a nice big window so we can go ahead and just fill that in now over here on the front we're going to just fill in all of these blocks right here with cobblestone as well and then we're gonna get inside the build in just a moment here but you want to make sure that your roof overhangs one on the uh, side right here. What I mean by that is like it, it overhangs by one. And that's going to give it that modern feel, right? The uh, modern feel. We're going to bring some fence down, some spruce fence down from the corners of this roof right here. And we're going to build all the way over and then go up again just like that. And then of course connect them right here. Now you are going to need a fence gate. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, I did grab a fence gate, I believe. So we can just put the fence gate right there. And then that's going to be how you get into your farm. Obviously, these blocks right here should be broken. And then we will put some water, which is a fun this is a fun thing to do, right? To put water under the wall, like right there. And then look, now you have water for all of this. So let me just go ahead and till this and then put some wheat seeds in it. And then a neat trick I learned to make everything grow faster, you shake the camera really hard like this, this like that. And look, it's grown. You just shake the camera really hard. I'm just kidding. I use bone meal. But isn't that funny? I love those transitions. I think they're funny. Someone reminded me a while ago, Neo, you're not using those transitions anymore, but look at that. I just did it, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and two from, two from the wall right here. So one, and then we'll just fill these in with slabs. really doesn't matter. Two from the wall, like right here. We're going to break this block. We're going to put some cobblestone under it and then place a door from the inside. We're going to place a stair above it upside down. And then in the corner here, we're just going to put a spruce block in the ground. We're going to make this as high as you want. It really doesn't matter. And then we're going to do another bush right here. Just make it, make them different lengths. You don't want them to be the same. As you can see, like it would look weird if one was different or, or if they were both the same. I mean, it wouldn't look weird necessarily, but I think it's better just to sort of variate your uh, lengths right here. So three and four looks good. And then obviously a little bit of torches on the outside definitely would help you um, you could even put a torch like right here and then maybe one right there and then your farm should have pretty good lighting just something like that maybe even one lower like that but yeah that's pretty much the exterior of the build let's get inside and make this thing a home so we're going to use a spruce wood plank for the floor in here 
Now what's funny is in my original build that I have over there, I filled in this wall right here. So we're gonna have a little bit more area to work with because this is technically the roof, but I mean, it's a snow build. I really don't think it's gonna matter if you, you see a little bit of snow there, but what you can't do, I don't think you can put torches on it. I think it'll start to melt. L let me check. All right, well, I'm getting impatient. I waited like 15 seconds, but nothing really happened. So I'm not sure like 100% if it'll break it or not. I, I really don't know. I don't think you should have a problem with that. Oh, you don't want to fill in that block right there. That's the only block you don't want to fill in because you want to have your crops nice and uh, hydrated. Now in the corners here, I really didn't plan on this like working like this. So we can actually do some cool stuff. We're going to put some stairs there. I think we should just line the top of stairs like that. And that's going to give a little bit more of a dynamic feel to the roof with a little bit of texturing. You can even do something like that. Take some trap doors and then put some spruce uh, trap doors just like that. And see, that's pretty cool, right? I think so. Uh, I'm gonna put some torches right here and right here for now. And then, hmm, let's grab some chests. We're gonna need chests and a build, of course. So let's just put those right there. Okay, that's so weird how they don't connect. I, I'm still getting used to that, guys. I'm still getting used to it. We're gonna put one crafting table and then we'll put double furnaces. Oop, double furnaces right here. Cool. Now on top of this block, I think we should just do a solid one and that's gonna make things look a little bit better. And then you obviously can't there because you have that chest to open. But now let's grab a bed. Probably, yeah, a cyan bed should be good. And now I put the bed down. I don't know why I stopped recording. I was thinking like, well, what if I build this and it looks bad? Well, I could just change it on the recording. So you could do a bed like that. Now that is the more fancy version of a bed and it takes up a lot more room. But again, I mean, this house is not very big at all, but it has a little underground section that isn't in the original build, but I just thought I should add to the build just because it is a little bit small, I get it. And it, it's not too practical for survival, but I can make it that way simply by adding a nice little underground ice cave to it. How about that? Maybe something like that. I'm, I'm not really sure how to go about that as of yet. I haven't thought that far yet because I, I just made that up. But let's just come down here a little bit. Undisclosed amount of blocks going down. It really doesn't matter as long as you get down into the ground. It's it's honestly it's not gonna make a difference, guys. I don't know how many blocks this is. I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, counting the floor block. You just want to make sure you're deep enough to where you can like have a you can like go under here without messing up your uh, ceiling. I don't really think we're gonna do a, an ice cave, and this is definitely already too deep. So I'm just gonna break out the blocks. We're just essentially gonna have a mirrored floor down here. Although it's good to see like right there would be the end of it So let's go ahead and put a torch there just so you guys can see and then we have I think one more layer Yeah, and that's pretty much it. They could make this area bigger underground. Of course. It's not really gonna matter I'm going to do cobblestone walls down here just to sort of emulate a cellar And I said I was gonna do an ice cave, but guys I really don't know what that means So I, I, I'm not gonna do that. Maybe that'll be another tutorial someday I need to play around with ice and see what I can do Because I know there's normal ice and it's kind of I know it's tricky to get in survival because you need silk touch or whatever to get the actual ice. I don't know if you can even craft compacted ice. I, I'm not even sure if that's the right name for it, but I'm just going to put a trap door right there so you can get down in here. And uh, we'll just do the same sort of spruce floor in here. I think that should be fine. It's not going to be too annoying to have those materials show up again. Um, oh yeah, these blocks right here need to be switched out. And then we'll just go ahead and fill the floor in like this. And then let's do an enchantment table. Um, well, you know what, we could just break out these blocks. I said we're not gonna do it, but these aren't the, f okay, so that's under the, that's like the base of the roof, like right here, or whatever you'd call the, the roof wall thing. So we can break those, and we can put them here, but we can't like break these, because that's the actual ground, and that's not good. That's gonna bother me too, hold on. I just, I have to come up here and I have to fix this snow, or it's just gonna, it's just gonna eat away at me. I think the, the snow is melted by the torches. I believe so and you could do something out here if you wanted to I don't really know how you'd go about a roof out here but maybe something with some uh, slabs like this could be kind of cool but it would, it would it go out like that or should it just be like that I think it looked best like that yeah but then you don't have any torches out here so you, you could put a torch like over here and over here really doesn't matter wherever you want to put torches or you could just remove that entryway but let's get back down here I keep getting distracted by all these fun things to do let's put in some cobblestone on this wall right here and then let's extend this floor one more and then let's grab some bookcases and enchantment tables and stuff I'm gonna grab all that all right so I said I was gonna grab the stuff for the enchantment table and well to be honest with you I did not grab the stuff for the enchantment table I grabbed the stuff for 
a nether work growery because I gotta have this in my build guys I'll freak out if I don't have a nether work growery in my build it'll just it'll just make me it'll make me uncomfortable I guess is the word you could say am I truly uncomfortable with it no not at all but I like to have them I think they look pretty cool now we can sneak in a few brewing stands back here they're kind of tricky to access you'd actually have to break it and then go into it or whatever but I mean, first world problems. You have too many brewing stands to deal with. It's it's the end of the world. And then you could even, I mean, you could go right here and you could do something cool, right? You could put this here. You could put a, some water right there, cobblestone, line it up. You'll never even know the difference. You could grab uh, something to till the soil with right here. And then all we got to do is take any kind of seed. Let's let's put a little potato in here. I remember some someone told me I should add potato farms to my build. So, you know. I, I liked the idea. I thought it was kind of creative to put a little potato farm in here. And I don't know. I mean, it just kind of looks cool. So now you got a little potato farm right there. And then maybe you want to put a stair here. And see, this is just how I think. What? 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 How is that even working? <laughs> My girlfriend said what too. There's water. Where? What? I'm so confused. How did that What? What was that? Do I want to know? Is that is, is that where the water was? Wait. Okay, so the water's right there. Okay. I was so confused for a second. I was like, what what is going on? So we're going to put a stair there real quick. And then we're going to put this here. And then maybe you want a little chest down here to put your potatoes in. So you can put a little chest right there. And then you probably need a crafting table down here too. So you could just put that right below. And see, you can always make good use of little spaces like that. You could put, I mean, you could put another chest like right here. I mean, do you see what I mean? Like, like you could literally put chests everywhere. And they're, they're really easy to fit. Okay, but now, okay, well, we're gonna need a cauldron. We're gonna need to grab the water again and then tripwire hook. And then we're gonna fill up the cauldron, put the tripwire hook. Now, let me grab the enchanting stuff. There we go. I think that's everything I'm gonna need. I'm not really sure. I mean, I, I mean I'm sure, but at the same time, I don't know. You know, <laughs> I get distracted with these things pretty easily, so we'll, we'll see how this goes. But we're gonna put bookcases right here. I don't remember that that corner block will count and then that one will count. I think that's actually enough for a full 30. That eh, looks kind of weird with the thing there, but eh, whatever. You you win some, you lose some, guys, especially in Minecraft building. Yeah, it's already a full 30. Um, we can't really... I mean, you could move the cauldron. Hmm, where could you put the cauldron, though? Right there? No, that looks weird. Where's the trap door? I could probably find a place for the cauldron. Oh, yeah, see? See what I mean? I mean, you can make little... That's why I love underground, because if you're, like, well, the opposite of... If you're above ground, I couldn't think of the word. If you're above ground, you can't really do stuff like this. And it's kind of sad, because, I mean, you can, but then you got to modify your structures, right? And just things start looking a little bit weird. But see, we'll just migrate that brewing stand to right there. And perfect. Uh, I probably want to have an anvil in here, as well as that ender chest. So I grabbed those real quick. And then, hmm, where can we put those? We could do the, the stairs right here, break this out, and then put the cobblestone behind it. And then you could do an ender chest. And then, where did I put the anvil? I always do that. Oh, I put the, the stone stair. But yeah, that's a nice little underground portion to the build. And then we could have a nether portal in here somewhere. I mean, you, you could basically go to a mine. If you wanted to have a mine, let me think of something that would look good. Honestly, if I was gonna do a mine in this build, I would do something like just bring this ladder straight down like that. And then you could just kind of go boop, boop, boop into your mine. And then you could make a little room in there with some furnaces or something. I'm not gonna include that this build. I was trying to make this a shorter tutorial, but uh, you guys know me, sometimes I get a little bit carried away. But as you can see, our wheat out here has grown and it's it's just nice, guys. This is a nice quaint little build. It looks cool, it's unique. It's a stone, or not a stone, a snow modern house, which is kind of cool. It's a nice take on sort of a modern build. I didn't put the windows in the build. Oh, rip, rest in peace me, dude. I didn't put the... I'm so funny sometimes, guys. I swear, I'm just the funniest person ever. Let's go ahead and put these windows in. I'll, it's not actually going to affect anything, like, as far as the structure goes. You probably were like, Neo, what what, what kind of house is this? There's no windows. There, that, that's the only other window. There's only two windows because of that snow on the back. You wouldn't want to put a window in the snow, or it might look a little bit weird. And there's no room on the front. But, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more tutorials like this and more, I know I'm a little bit crazy, but I think that makes my videos a little bit more interesting than some other... Uh, just like people who do tutorials. I don't know. I'm not hating on anyone. I like everyone on YouTube that does tutorials. Rizziel's good. Grian's good. Addicted. Almost Addicted Minecraft is good. I love all the guys. They're, they're all really chill. I wish I could talk to them sometime. If any of you are watching, uh, leave a comment. I look at all my comments and we'll, we'll 
we'll get in touch. We'll see what we can do. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more videos like this and more, click the subscribe button. You get notified when I upload. Just make sure to click that bell so that you're actually notified. <clears throat> YouTube sucks. But <laughs> I'm just kidding. YouTube doesn't suck, but come on, guys. You're a billion-dollar company. Google isn't. My computer's having this problem. Hold on. Okay, it's gotten a little quieter. I'm sorry. I can't get it to go away. But yeah, if you want to see more, subscribe. If you don't, don't subscribe. Not, not going to be a big deal, guys. But whatever you want to do, do. Especially in life. Whatever you feel like you should do, you should do. Because your life is going to be... Well, it's not short, but relatively, it's, it's pretty short. So you should take advantage of the fact that you're alive right now. And you could build this house and have fun playing a video game, which is an awesome waste of time. But yeah. Uh, if you guys like the video and you want to leave a like, that helped me out. If you don't like the video, don't want to leave a like, then don't leave a like. See what I mean? Don't have to do anything. But yeah, I had fun building this one. It turned out pretty cool, I think. Uh, there's a few things here and there, like boom. We'll put that in there, make everything look a little bit better. But I like how this turned out. I think it's a pretty cool like like video. I don't know. When I used to watch tutorials, like when I first started, <laughs> I don't know why I'm still talking. I should just quit. But when I first started uh, doing tutorials on Minecraft. The easiest tutorials there were, or like the only tutorials there really were that were worth watching were Corrales. And gosh, Corrales, he is a great builder, but man, his builds were very complicated and they took hours to construct. And I was like, man, I wish there were tutorials. Oh wait, I could do it. And then I did it. And now we're here. I'm still building guys. Six years later, I'm still building. But yeah, I'm, I'm not the best, I'm, I'm not the worst, but I'm someone you can watch, hang out with, and just sort of talk to if you'd leave a comment. I like to always reply to my comments. But yeah, sorry for going on a little tangent there, but thank you guys for watching a final time, and I'll see you in the next tutorial, which will be this snow fort right here, which I might record right now. Who knows? But yeah, anyways, bye guys.